guys how you doing trust you're okay and having a lovely time these days it seems like there's fresh news about coronavirus everywhere you turn i understand that you want to take your mind off things so i made this video top 10 movies for you to rewatch. trust me you're gonna like these movies and their storyline i am gabby osarebe in case you're just joining you're welcome to gabby nation don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and the notification bell to get notified each time I drop a new video. So you will miss out on this interesting trip. Yes, it's a trip because we are headed somewhere. So let's get started. Hello Gabby Nation, thanks for joining. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the top 10 movies to watch over and over and over again without getting bored trust me this movie are worth your time to rewatch over and over and over again time because of their unique storyline and amazing character i watch these movies more than i can count and it still feels new each time i watch them and i watch them over and over and over again so i'll be doing a countdown on this movie and number 10 is Hire a woman. It's a Nollywood movie and is written by Chinese Love Ace. It's shot in Whispering Palms Resort, Badegui. It's very interesting. <laughs> about a guy who hired a girlfriend to a picnic to get back at his ex-girlfriend who actually dumped him six years ago and he hasn't got over it even turned things on the head and out of control of that of his female friend who actually planned to get away to get his ex-girlfriend real jealous this is the best romantic comedy ever imagine having comedy and romance in one oh, super interest i know question will be ringing in your head right now what lessons will i learn or what lesson have i learned from the movie it's a romantic comedy with lots of funny scenes trust me aside that you get to know the clear difference between love and manipulation love and manipulation number nine on my countdown movies to rewatch it's road to yesterday this is also a nollywood movie written by genevieve and naji man woman we lie we cheat we hurt each other even when we're in love especially when we're in love we're born Road to Yesterday is about an estranged couple trying to fix their marriage on a road trip to a relative's funeral. Five years of marriage and this couple still sees themselves as total strangers. However, when memories and suking from the past are revealed, a lot more is at stake than their relationship. I don't know. This is what you do to me? No secret is actually a secret starting a relationship built with lies will never end well you need to watch this movie if you're in a relationship and if you're not you still need to watch this movie the number eight countdown is october first if you're in nigeria you know what october first means yes so it's a nollywood movie I can watch this movie over and over and over and over and over again. October first, a Nollywood movie produced and directed by Kunle Afalayan. He never disappoint. No, 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 he never. Written by Tunde Babalola. A great nation, Nigeria, will be independent in two weeks. It's time for evening prayers. In the movie October 1st, Inspector Dan Ladi Waziri has been sent by the British government to discover the perpetrators of series of killings that has been occurring in a southwestern Nigerian village. I think I know the killer. With 
145 minutes running time. October 1st was set in the days before Nigeria independence. Number 7 to go is the last flight to Abuja. If you had only a few minutes to leave, what would you do? I been authorized by the board to take all of you to Abuja. Last flight to Abuja based on true life events. A mid-air difficulty forces a Nigeria commercial plane into emergency landing with devastating consequences. Flamingo flight 212, can you hear me? It was over the cinema in 212 and I would love to watch this movie over and over again. And if you haven't watched this movie, you have to. Number 6 down to go is... 44 minutes! <laughs> Everybody down! A Hollywood movie based on re event that took place on February 28, 1997, when two heavily armed men wearing body armor decided to rob the Bank of America, not Hollywood. Something goes wrong in the robbery attempt, and the result is the most violent shootout in the modern American police history. How many times have I watched this movie? Countless. Number five countdown is The Bones. Oh. I have a present for you. This evil thing just kills you. Mr. Bones 2, a call from the past. A tribal king sent a medicine man to look for his son. The medicine man returns with an American golfer and a group of guns who wants to keep him in the golf. Come from before. From the past. Coming down to number four is Figurine. Figurine is a Nollywood movie directed by Kunle Afalayon. I told you he never disappoints. Imagine having seven years of good luck, luxurious life, wealth, all you ever wanted. Seven years of bad luck after. Huh? Tell that when the goddess Araro Miri wanted to come to the earth, she asked the priest to bring her forth. From the back of a cursed tree. Figuring shows it's a story of two bodies and a girl all down on their luck how the lives change when one of them discovered Hararami, a mysterious figure in an abandoned shrine, which according to legend bestowed seven years of good luck, but no one told them about the next seven years. Of bad luck. <laughs> number three on the countdown is dry. Man, I love this movie. I love this movie. This is a movie I will watch morning, tomorrow morning again. In the night. <laughs> like, I don't want to marry now. Alima, you are too young to understand. You are young, and this is the right time. I paid a lot of money to have you as my wife. An inspired story of a 13 years old girl who focuses on physical vagina fistula condition and on the age marriage among young women. Narrating the story of a 13 years old girl, Halima, whose poor, uneducated parents married her off to Sunny, a 60 years old man who constantly rapes her. I want to be a girl again. Can you get that for me? Written by Stephanie O'Kreke. Number two on my countdown is Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I love this movie. Like, I watched it over and over and over and over again. And my best character is Jack Sparrow. The heathen gods placed upon the gold a terrible curse. Ten years we've searched. Every last piece we have found, save for this. Hello, Bobby. A deadly ghost escapes the devil's triangle with his crew and is taken over the sea in search of his arc rival and author of all his pain. 
You better start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Family disappear. Ah! Yes. And it's his old boy who must defend his home from two burglars after his family mistakenly leaves him behind on the Christmas vacation. You guys give up? Oh, yeah, thirsty for more. It's a 1990 American comedy film. I mean, real comedy. Top 10 favorite movie to rewatch over and over and over again i hope you love this video and you did love the movies too don't forget to click on the subscribe button below this video to subscribe to my channel and get notified each time i drop a new video thanks for joining gabby nation love you